Good night ladies and gentlemen, my name is Wizdoom and welcome to my gameplay and commentary of Ultimate Marvel vs Capcom 3 for the Sony Playstation 3. Today is Wednesday the 18th of January 2012 and I've got for you, the Elf Recruits audience, 3 ranked matches. They mark the beginning of a series I have called My Road to Cosmic Lord. Throughout my commentary I will be explaining what the term Cosmic Lord means, the ranked match system within Ultimate Marvel vs Capcom 3 and I will also be introducing myself as a gamer and more importantly as a person. I know that this video might not be what you are accustomed to but I respectfully request that you bear with me and in so doing you might be pleasantly surprised. Not only is the Road to Cosmic Lord not something that has never been done before but the original concept isn't even my own. To be truthful I got it from perusing some Modern Warfare 3 videos on the subject matter because I think that's where I got it originally. Like I saw things such as Road to Commander, Road to Tent Prestige, Road to Mystical Fornicator of the Southern Winds, that sort of thing. And I decided why not do that for a game that's not Modern Warfare 3 and namely is Ultimate Marvel vs Capcom 3 which is what I did and hopefully you get the inference there. Now let me just explain the ranking system a bit. As with most video games, your rank is supposed to be a reflection of your skill. And I say supposed to be because it's a known fact that in games such as these, people tend to cheat the system such that their rank is not a true reflection of what they're capable of, but I'm not really going to get into that in this video. The higher your rank, the greater your general proficiency within that particular game. Again, this is all hypothetical and not actually the case all the time. The sole method of increasing one's rank in Ultimate Marvel vs Capcom 3 is through playing ranked matches. The more matches you win, the higher your rank becomes. Conversely, your rank will decrease incrementally with every loss. For those just starting out with ranked matches, your status is always beginner. And you will always require one victory only to upgrade that rank to amateur. The amount of victories you'll require to increase your rank increases as you ascend this metaphorical ladder. Let's interpret the ascension of rank as one that takes place on a ladder, okay? Okay. The very highest point of this ladder is a rank known as Cosmic Lord, which is essentially what this series is about, showing you my journey from beginner to Cosmic Lord with recorded gameplay and complimentary commentary. That's an alliteration. Both my opponent's rank and my own are clearly visible on the screen below and to the side of the portraits of the team characters and their life bars. I do think that's all the information you'll need for what's going on in the video itself, or to help you understand what's going on in the video. If you have any other questions or comments, feel free to ask them and I will get back to you as soon as possible. However, before I move on from this point, I'd like to make one very important point of my own. Please note, I am a beginner. I am inexperienced with this game. I actually got it for Christmas of 2011 and I've been playing it with relative frequency ever since in an attempt to get better but for the most part I'm a novice. Let me repeat that, I am a novice. I am not an expert, I am not claiming to be an expert, I am just trying to fulfill an objective here which I believe is reasonably achievable. You will notice also that my playstyle is a reflection of the fact that I am a beginner. As such, any constructive criticism towards improving my overall game is more than welcome, if not encouraged. But please do not troll me regarding my lack of expertise. It's completely unnecessary and I will ignore you all over the place. Alright, so now that I've gotten all that crazy stuff out of the way, I'd now like to introduce myself. My username on Yelsh, damn it! And actually, it's just Yelsh. Sorry about that. And on YouTube is Wisdom. Hey, how's it going? This word, in case you were wondering and you more than likely weren't, is actually a pun and a combination of two words, wisdom and doom. I believe wisdom is one of the most important virtues in life so I wanted a username that had that in there and doom is just a Doctor Doom reference. Seriously, it, it, it's nothing else, you know. Doctor Doom as in one of the primary antagonists in the Fantastic Four series animated series? You know about that, right? Yes. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Alright, so there's a 1 instead of an I because the non-numerical spelling of Wisdom, you see I combined the two words there, was already taken, so I just replaced the I with a 1 and went with that. So there you go. You now know where my 
username comes from and how I came up with it. Now, who am I as a person, as a human being? I was born in the Caribbean island of Barbados and I am 23 years of age. I have been gaming since I was 8 or so. I like to say 8 years of age because that's as far as my memory goes in terms of my formative gaming years. Up until 2010 of December, when I got a PS3 for Christmas, I was strictly a Nintendo fan who refused to branch out to other consoles because I was that much into Nintendo. Having rejected that stance entirely in present day, I am now the type of gamer who quite literally will embrace games from every console, genre, franchise or any other categorization you can think of. I have taken my passion for gaming to YouTube as well as the philosophy that variety is the spice of life and I am using it in a way such that I will be able to eventually produce content for just about every console you can imagine. The PC, the SNES, the Game Boy Advance, TurboGrafx-16, Arcade, NES, Game Boy Color, Game Boy, Nintendo DS, Nintendo Wii, PS3, Sega Genesis, Sega Game Gear, Nintendo 64 and so on and so forth. Those are the consoles that come to my mind most readily but even though my channel is relatively young I do plan on eventually covering games from all those consoles and more because I truly believe that that will provide the best experience for everybody involved with my channel and its content so that's pretty much it for this video if you have any questions about the video itself or about me I will answer them as long as they are appropriate you know don't want to answer the inappropriate questions so that's it for this video again and I thank you for your time and patience have a good day everyone thank you for watching